Solomon's Vegas Adventures. Hey everyone, and welcome to another episode of Solomon's Vegas Adventures. I heard today that the weather is supposed to be atrocious. So instead of exploring above ground, we're going to explore underground. Join us as we go out to Cowboy Cave, a cave filled with fossils out by Red Rock. So without further ado, let's go. So Cowboy Cave is a limestone cavern located in Blue Diamond Hill, and the trailhead is Fossil Canyon Trailhead parking out by Red Rock. So get on Charleston Boulevard West, and you're going to want to turn right from the highway to head west towards Red Rock. You're going to want to go out of town, you're going to want to pass Calico Basin, you're going to want to pass Red Rock itself, and at the bottom of this hill at the horseback riding is where the hike is. So you'll see a sign that says horseback riding. Well, the wind was absolutely terrible, like it was really blowing, you couldn't even hear me talk anyway, so I'm just doing a voiceover. And here is the trail sign to Cowboy Cave, so let's go. On the way up, you'll pass by several pastures with horses, as well as mules. Um, so, you know, you can walk by the horses and see them graze. Don't harass the horses or anything, but they're pretty cute and pretty cool, you know, horses are cool. Again, another voiceover because the wind was just absolutely plowing. But these are just a close-up of some of the horses eating and grazing and drinking and stuff. They're pretty tame. They just do what they do and kind of ignore you. But you can actually go horseback riding here over the weekends. Uh, they have a business, and, you know, it's probably on some website somewhere. Finally got a break in the wind. But Cowboy Cave is right up this canyon and to the left. All right, so... Uh... You're gonna to wanna to take a left turn here into this first side canyon. That's where Cowboy Cave is. It's a little bit of a climb to get up this part of the canyon. Pretty steep, but I mean, hey, nice views. We're almost there. Not the real deal, but a little cave nonetheless. Sadly, it's been freaking tagged by graffiti. That's a, that's a travesty. This is clutch. Last time I was here, you had to climb up this, but someone put in a ladder. All right guys, so it's definitely a tough little climb to get up here, to get up this part. Um, but you know, somebody put a ladder as I mentioned. Nice view though. And the cave should be just up here. The entrance to Cowboy Cave is right up there. Let's go. My, that wind is blowing. Got the gear on, ready to go in and spelunk Cowboy Cave. And as you guys can see, the entrance is kind of tight, but gets bigger down there it opens up down there yeah that's really big mm. oh it's tagged up too yeah natural made them yeah natural natural tagging by the through the water processes <laughs> and um, and erosion through the mineralization of the rock leads to these complex patterns that may be viewed as uh, as, a, as a type of tagging but by nature head ass this cave's pretty big guys it sure is Wish I had a brighter light, jeez. As you guys can see, there's some stalagmite and stalactite formations going on in this cave, but you know, this cave has really been tagged to hell. It's really annoying, you know? I'm not, I'm not gonna lie to you, it kind of bothers me when people come in here and just graffiti this place up. I mean, really? Pardon the quick interruption. Here's something that angers me even more. These are stalagmites. This is an old picture from Cowboy Cave. These stalagmites are no longer present because the cave had been vandalized so much that people just came in and destroyed these artifacts. It takes thousands of years for these to be created. So please, just respect the land. Now it's not my intention to turn this video into a lecture, but I need to address the fact that this is the exact same part of the cave from the last picture and the stalagmites are gone. They've just been vandalized. So please enjoy these areas responsibly. Respect the land and please do not vandalize anything. Well, thanks for listening to my public service announcement. The condition of the cave today, guys, is just tragic. Now back to the video. It goes further back that way. Let's go. As you guys can see, this cave kind of follows the uh, bedding of the rock layer. Um, and we have some like miniature stalagmites and stalactites forming. You can see up at the top there, over there, and then at the bottom over there. But opens up more back there. All right, guys. So these are fossils of... Uh, Paleozoic sea creatures. You know, it looks like coral, maybe a balamnite or something, which is a type of squid. Uh, but they've been recrystallized and calcified into calcium carbonate, also known as calcite. 
So the, there's just fossils on the ceiling of the cave because this is the bottom of the, uh, of the rock layer. As you can see, there's just, there's lots of them. Pretty cool. You said there's a spider? Right there, right there. Where? On the side of the rock you're standing on. On the side. Oh yeah. That's a f***ing brown recluse, or not a brown recluse spider, that's a wolf spider. That is a wolf spider. Yeah, they can be, they can pack a painful bite. Right, yeah, let's leave the spider alone. Gets a little interesting down there, a little bit deeper. Yeah, we'll go down there. These are some nice uh, stalagmites and stalactites. Bottom, top. Oh, it looks like there's another room over here. It looks like it goes further back. Yeah, over there in particular. Let's see it. Yeah, this part of the cave looks like it hasn't been tagged up much and hasn't been damaged as much. And you can see more of the uh, structures back here. Let's see. No, oh yeah, for sure. We've got some stalagmites and stalactites back here. More developed ones. More developed ones for sure, less damaged. Got a, you know, these form when water drips and uh, it kind of calcifies the rock. So uh, yeah, I mean, look at these. Looks like they've been kind of cut by uh, people probably, sadly. But uh, let's see back here, there's more. Oh yeah, oh, that's kind of creepy. That one looks like it has eyes. You see it? Yeah. Like, oh, it's blurry on the camera, but it looks like it has eyes. Yeah, it gets more well-defined back here. It's like a deep room there too. Yeah, this uh, gets deeper over here. Oh, there's but... another little room, yeah. Yeah, but I, I'm not gonna go down there. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it's not empty. It's not. Wow, it, it sure gets uh, deep over here. There's that one that looks like it has eyes. Looks like it kind of ends back there though. But uh, yeah. yeah, pretty cool. Cowboy cave, y'all. Yeehaw. About to leave the cave. That tiny entrance, guys. Gotta wiggle through it. <laughs> nice view from the mouth of the cave. You can see those clouds coming in. Look at how fast the clouds above us are moving. It's probably windy outside of this cave. Oh yeah, for sure. Or not cave. Yeah, that, those clouds be moving fast, y'all. They're racing to drop a load from Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was Cowboy Cave. Uh, it's a nice little cave. It's not too extensive, but it's not like nothing. Um, it's been pretty graffitied, which is kind of sad. It's a tragedy that people come out here and deface nature. Um, but it's a cool place to explore nonetheless. Uh, it's not too difficult of a hike. I would imagine it's about a mile, a mile and a half up the canyon and there's great views along the hike so it's worth it yeah there are great views along the hike so it is worth it um nice canyon nice, canyon, nice cave all in all i would recommend cowboy cave Yeehaw! thanks for joining us on another episode of solomon's vegas, vegas adventures be sure to like comment and subscribe for more content guys thanks for all the support peace